The live desk this afternoon. The development in the Gabriel case is a blockbuster because it's extremely rare for a person to get the death penalty after committing a crime in our state. In fact, he was the first person from Michigan to get the sentence in the 160 years since it had been abolished. He's also the only one of a few people to face that punishment since it was banned. 24 Hour News is Danny Carlson joining us now. She's been pouring through the federal appeal court's documents, but it's been more than a decade since the murder, nearly a decade since the sentencing. Take us back to the beginning and how he ended up with that sentence in the first place. Well, actually, Larry, the reason why Gabriel got that sentence in the first place is actually the reason why he's won this appeal. It's because back in 1997, Rachel Timmerman's body happened to be found in the Manistee National Forest. But if it had been found less than 250 feet away, he would have been tried in a state, not a federal court, and never would have even faced the death penalty. Gabriel was convicted of killing Rachel Timmerman and her infant daughter back in 1997. He tied her up in chains and then dumped her body in Oxford Lake with cinder blocks to weigh that body down. The appeals court decided today that Gabriel should get a new sentencing phase of his trial. First, because it was decided that his attorney should have been able to argue that Gabriel shouldn't even get the death penalty because it's illegal in the state of Michigan. And even though this is a federal case, it was physically tried in the state of Michigan and the jury was made up of people from Michigan. And the court also decided today the original judge in the case should have told the jury that in order to sentence Gabriel to death, they needed to find him guilty beyond a reasonable doubt and deserving of the death penalty. The jury wasn't given instructions about how sure they should be to decide that Gabriel deserve the death penalty. Now, this doesn't mean that Gabriel is going to get a complete new trial. The court's decision said clearly that they don't doubt that he murdered Timmerman and her daughter back in 1997, but that a new jury or a jury should get the chance to decide if he still deserves the death penalty or life in prison. We will continue to work on this story and we will bring you updates both in our later newscasts and also just as soon as we get them on woodtv.com. At the live desk, Danny Carlson, 24 Hour News 8.